Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching your technical spark channel friends in uh, Trilix FRP series today I am going to demonstrate best way to deploy FRP agent on your managed machine so without further ado let's get started after this small intro video welcome back guys uh, let's very well launch the, our EPO console and here we go let me log into the EPO using admin credential and then we'll directly navigate to system tree as you could see I have one machine in which Trilix FRP product is not installed so this is the our target machine where we are going to demonstrate the agent installation but before we you know start with the deployment let's make some changes into the client task catalog so here is our FRP installation task so let's open that and we'll put here no reboot if I cannot put this command line here then you know uh, FRP will immediately reboot the machine as soon as it get installed so I don't want that because sometimes uh, user may be working so uh, one of the pop-up should be enough so that he will get time to reboot the machine so we have you know added the no reboot as a command line now the next thing we'll have to do to the is go to the system tree and here we'll create one client task for that let's click on new client task assignment and then we'll rep, uh, you know use this here tags so because we have configured one tags in our previous video right so let's use that and here we go so whichever the product don't have FRP uh, software install those machines will get uh, you know FRP installed automatically and we'll choose here schedule type as a immediately task is enabled yeah now let's choose the product FRP windows and here is the version with the install similarly if you want to do it for the removal you can do that now let's click on save so our task has been added so let's go to the system tree this is applicable to this machine similar way right now what are the system present into the workstation group so this particular client task will be applicable for them and if in case if you want to apply it for an entire organization then you can apply it to the my organization now let's go back to our system to check out the installation process so guys this is my machine let me show you by going to the telex agent status monitor see t1 so this is my test machine now let me open my show you my about screen so that you will get to know that telex FRP product is not installed by default it will automatically synchronize but for our understanding purpose what I'll do I'll you know uh, perform check for new policy because we don't have time to wait great the FRP is task has been received and is trying to install it has become active this is our task name which we have applied right now let's wait for some time until and unless the installation get complete currently is downloading the package and verifying whether all the files which we have downloaded uh, I mean this particular task downloaded all are legitimate and it's also verify the hashes so as you could see FRP is successfully installed to my machine update success right and this is the pop-up box so just to remember if we didn't add that particular no reboot as a command line then system would have rebooted by now okay so that uh, command line is very important now let me click on cancel let's check out go again to the about section and see FRP is now added here perfect now let's check under the okay right now under manage feature it's showing grayed out why because this particular machine requires one reboot then our FRP will become active so why are we waiting for let's reboot the machine The system is rebooted. Let's log in with our credentials and see how it looks like. FRP. This would be our first impression. If in case if you don't know what is FRP is and how the console is look. Let me check whether your Telix product. Okay, perfect. Now let me again right click and then go to the file and removal media protection. Right now this is active and this is the console view guys right now we don't have any keys so that's the reason you will not be able to find any keys inside this okay 
these are the all default, all default policies there is so much things we can do with our yaparbi product guides and we are going to learn everything in detail in our next videos and and here are some additional information for the yaparbi authentication okay this is also we are going to learn in our next videos so hopefully guys till now you have enjoyed the series and very much excited to learn the configuration and testing process in my further videos so that's it in this video guys uh, we end this video here with the you know the learning that how to deploy or install a FRP agent on our U machines manager machines and guys as always if you found this video useful then please click on the like button and provide some kind of feedback uh, whether you have really like it or dislike it whatever it is okay just share your inputs with me and if in case if you are watching my videos for the very first time then click on the subscribe button and you know uh, it maybe if your colleagues also working in the same field then just try to share this video with them so that they will also you know learn these things technologies so that's it uh, thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next video till then bye bye